If you've been wanting to build your first automated AI agent, but you didn't know where to start, then this is your perfect first project. We're building a simple workflow that automatically generates custom quotes and sends professional emails using just N8N and a hosting plan that won't break the bank. I'll walk you through every step and by the end, you'll have a working AI agent plus the confidence to tackle your own automation projects. So let's go. We're going to build an AI quote generator for a landscaping business called The Grass is Greener. Customers will fill out a simple form with their service request and property size, and our AI will instantly generate a custom quote for them and then automatically send them a professional email response. The whole thing runs 24-7 without any manual work from you. But first, we need to get N8N running, and one of the great things about N8N is that you can host it yourself and get nearly unlimited access to the platform. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use today's partner, Hostinger, which is one of my favorite VPS hosting platforms to host your very own version of N8N. So if you want to follow along and use the link down below, it's going to take you to this landing page. So if you go to www.hostinger.com forward slash Innovare, you can see the current options that they have. And don't worry, I actually have my own custom code Innovare that you can apply to get an extra discount to make it even more affordable. One of the best things about hosting your self-hosted N8N plans is that it allows you to, with one click, install and self-host N8N to run unlimited workflows for less than the cost of an N8N subscription. You get many benefits of N8N, but at a reduced cost. So you can see that they have their KVM 1, 2, 4, and 8 plans. I'm going to recommend the KVM2 plan because it's powerful enough to run several N8N workflows and provides excellent value. All hosting your plans provide one click installation and provide excellent privacy and security. So now I'm going to click choose plan right here, and that's going to take me to my cart. So now you're going to have the option to choose how long you want to have on this plan. The 24 month offers the best deal. So I recommend that one if you want to lock in that price for a long time. Next, you're going to need to select your server location. So I'm going to pick Boston, but you can pick something that's right for you. Next, we're going to make sure we select N8N. Now, before we hit continue and we create our account, you definitely want to come here to use a coupon code and enter in Innovare to save an additional 10%. So let's click apply and continue. And then we simply need to enter our username, password, and select our payment method and then submit our secure payment. Okay, so now that I've gotten our KVM2 plan, it's gonna take us to our dashboard page, which is gonna look something like this. All right, so we're making great progress, and the next part is where things get exciting. We need to set up our server to run N8N, and here's the great thing about Hostinger. This is ridiculously simple. All we need to do is click Setup and select our location. Next, we're gonna select N8N as our application, and then we're gonna give it a root password. Think of this password as your master key. It lets us access the server if we ever need to troubleshoot anything later. And just like that, our server's ready. To access N8N, we just click on Manage App. See how easy that was? This is why I love this setup. No command line nightmares, no complicated configurations. Perfect, now we're getting into the good stuff. Since this is our first time using N8N, we need to configure a few things to unlock its full potential. Don't worry, this is still the easy part. Okay, so we'll need to enter an email address, name, and password to create our N8N account. So I'm gonna enter all of that information right now. Now here's something important. You'll need a free licensing key to completely unlock all of N8N's features. All you need to do is enter your email and they'll send one to you. I already have one, so I'm gonna show you exactly where you need to enter it. So to enter the key, we just need to click on these three dots beside our name, go to settings, hit enter activation key, enter the key, and then click activate and we're officially unlocked. Now here's where the AI quote generator starts coming together. Because we're creating an AI agent, we need a way to communicate with OpenAI's models. This is essentially like giving N8N the phone number to call ChatGPT. And we'll do this by adding our API keys. So to do this, we're gonna click on personal on the left-hand side, and then we need to go to credentials, and then we click add first credential, and then we're gonna search for OpenAI, and then we're gonna add our OpenAI credentials. Now here is where we're gonna enter the API key. Don't have an API key yet? Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to get one in about 30 seconds. So to get our API key, we need to go to the OpenAI platform. We're gonna click on API key on the left and then create a new security key. We can also create a project to better organize our keys. This is totally optional, but if you're building multiple automations, it's a nice way to keep everything neat and tidy. Now let's create that key and we're gonna copy the secret into our credentials on the N8N platform and then we're gonna hit save. Perfect, we now have everything connected. N8N is talking to OpenAI, so now we're ready to build our actual automation. This is where it gets really fun. 
it's very easy to create your first workflow. You just need to click here on start from scratch. Now, before we dive in, let me quickly explain what we're working with. You can think of nodes like Lego blocks. Each one does a specific job and we can connect them together to build something amazing. A trigger node starts the whole process. Action nodes do all the work and they all pass information to each other automatically. People will be able to select the service they want, give us their property size and instantly get an email back with a quote. So to do this, let's add our first node, a form trigger. Now trigger is simply a specific type of node that when completed triggers the entire workflow to run. For this, we're going to use the on form submission trigger. Now this is where we design what our customers will actually see. Now in the middle, we have all the elements we need to build our form. So let's create something professional. Okay. So we're going to give this form a name. Let's call it service request. And I'm going to enter in a quick description what to get an instant quote on our services, enter the details below. And for the form elements, we need a name. And for the element type, we have text. Let's make this a required field. Next, we need an email. And for the element type, we need email. And let's make this required as well. Let's add another form element for the type of service. For this, let's use a radio button so that they can select from some pre-made options. So for the radio button label options, this is going to be what they're going to see as the options for their services. So we're going to type in lawn care, mowing, landscape design, and pest control. For landscape design, we'll need to do something custom with our AI agent later. Let's add a field for the property size using square feet. And lastly, we're going to add another text box for additional information. All right, let's test this form to make sure everything's working properly. I'll fill it in just like a real customer would do. We'll just make up some information here. So I'll just put John and put mowing and we'll put the property size as 50 by 100 and then we'll submit the form. Perfect. Once we submit the form, we can see that all our data appears here in a table or we can view this in JSON format. Now, the simplest way to understand JSON is that it's a way for different applications to communicate information in a simple, easy to read format. You can think of JSON like a filing cabinet. Each drawer has a label and that's the key. And inside is the information. That's the value. The other thing to note is that I've pinned the data by clicking that pin on the top right corner, which basically freezes the data so that we don't need to keep entering in our form to trigger the next node while we're building. Now here's where the magic happens. We have our customer information captured. Next, we need our AI agent to take that data and turn it into a professional quote. Okay. So now that we have our trigger set up, we need to add our AI agent and N8N makes this incredibly simple. Okay. So we're going to click on that little plus sign there, and then we'll click on open AI on the right hand side and then message a model. Now you can see all the information we entered in our form on the input side of the node on the left side of the screen. And of course, we can also view this in JSON format as well. Now, because we already set up our credentials for OpenAI earlier, we can see that they're already selected here. That setup is paying off. Now, we also have access to all the models. And for this project, we're going to select the GPT-5 mini model. Now, there's three different types of prompts that we can work with here. One is the user prompt, which is what we're asking the model to do. We have system prompts, which explains how we want the model to behave and act. And we have assistant prompts, which helps set the tone or provide resources that the model can use to impact how it responds. Now, here's where we get strategic. We're going to use ChatGPT to help us build our system prompt for this agent. This is a technique I absolutely love to use, getting AI to help me with my prompts. All right, so we're going to give it this prompt right here. I want you to design a system prompt for an AI agent for a landscaping company called The Grass is Greener. You'll receive requests from customers to provide quotes that are based on the property size. So some of the key things that we need to give it are our pricing based on the service, but we also need it to respond in a JSON format. This will allow us to access the messages dynamically later on in our workflow. Let's make a change to the prompt to add this in. For the output, we need the customer name, the message, and the pricing. All right, so you can see it's generating the system prompt for us. You can see it's extremely detailed. So now let's copy all of this and bring it into N8N. All right, so now we're back in N8N and where it says role, I'm gonna select system prompt on the drop down menu. And where it says prompt to the right of that, you're gonna see a button that says expression. We're gonna click on that. And then we're gonna paste in our system prompt that we got from ChatGPT. All right, now we're also gonna add a user prompt as well. And again, so we're gonna click on the expression button and for the user prompt, we want the values to change dynamically based on what the user enters. So we can do that by using key references. So I'm going to do this by dragging these key pieces of information from the on form submission node on the left of the screen. So let's add the prompt in here with the customer name, the services, the property size and additional information. 
and we'll also make sure to select the output as JSON. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if our AI agent can actually generate a professional quote. Now let's select execute step at the top and see if this is working. Perfect, it was actually able to calculate the quote. Now I know this seems like a lot for mowing, but this is just an example to show you how the system works. It also generated an email message that we're gonna use and it even referenced the additional details that the client provided. This is exactly what we wanted. Our AI is working beautifully, but right now that quote is just sitting in NADN. We need to get it to our customer and that's where this email automation comes in. So now that we know this is working, we need to add the email note. Now what's great is that NADN already has a way to access Gmail built right in. So let's select Gmail. And for this, we're gonna to go to create a draft email. Now we can see that the AI agent's response is already in the input section on the left of the screen. So we just need to get an API key for our Gmail account. You'll just need to follow the instructions from Google to set up your login and key. You can see the documentation right in NADN to see how. All right, so I've set up the API key for our Gmail account off camera. Now let's add the message and email address from the JSON data that we captured. Now for the subject, we're just gonna enter a new subject right here and we can add the message by dragging the message key and dragging it here. Lastly, we need the email address, so we can select the form node and grab the email key here. All right, so we're gonna click on execute step at the top and let's see if our email generation is working properly. Okay, perfect, it looks like our email is here. It has all the details, including the price, but there's one problem. It's not formatted correctly, so we need to fix this with our system prompt. No worries, this is why we test everything. So we're gonna go back to ChatGPT and improve our prompt. We can also add an additional field for the subject of the email to make that more dynamic too. So I'm just gonna say, can you modify the system prompt to include a subject field output? Also make sure that the message is in an email format with paragraphs. All right, perfect. So let's copy this new prompt and paste it into our system prompt for our AI agent. All right, let's execute this step and see what we get. Okay, this is great. It actually looks like it's working much better now. So let's take a look at the email node. So now that we have a subject value, we can actually add this to our node here. So we're gonna just drag it in and let's test to see if the email is updated. Perfect, the email now has our new subject and it's formatted much better. All right, so we've built all the pieces. Now it's time for the real test. Let's see if this automation works from start to finish, just like a real customer would experience it. Now to test this entire workflow, we need to make a few changes. First, we need to unpin the data, and then let's rename our workflow so that we can find it easier later. So I'm just gonna rename this to grass is greener quote form. Next, let's change this from inactive to active. This is gonna allow us to use the production form and have the system work automatically. All right, so I'm gonna copy the production URL into a new tab. All right, now I'm gonna pretend I'm a customer who needs lawn care work done. So let's just enter in some information here, email address. All right, here's the moment of truth. Let's check our email. It looks like it's here, awesome. Everything works, we've got a custom quote, and it even used the additional information that we entered asking if they were available next week. This is working great, but there's one more thing that we can do to make it feel even more natural and professional. Instead of doing an instant reply, we can add a delay so that the response doesn't happen right away. This will help it make, make it feel more natural and professional, like a real business that actually takes a moment to review the request before responding. To do this, we simply click on the plus sign in between the nodes and then search for the wait node. Now we can select any amount of time we wanna wait and this will wait that amount of time before it triggers the next node. Perfect, we have a complete automation set up now. But before you run off to build your own version, here's some key things to keep in mind. Test everything thoroughly, so always do a test submission before going live with real customers. Monitor your OpenAI usage. API calls do cost money, so just monitor your usage, especially if you're getting a lot of form submissions. Start simple, especially if this is your first automation, try something basic before adding complexity, and check emails. Start with your automation generating drafts until you're comfortable that the system is working properly. If you wanna learn more, then we've just started our own community called the Innover Circle on School, where I'll be doing weekly videos, live lessons, free guides and automation templates like this, and you'll get access to a community of like-minded people who are learning how to leverage AI and automation in their business, work, and life. You can find a link to join in the description. Now, if you wanna know more about how to use AI to level up your work and your life, then click this next video.